are going to show you our QAM and DQAM modulation and demodulation trainer kit order code is 40623 and 40624. So, this one here is the QAM DQAM modulation trainer kit and this one is QAM DQAM demodulation trainer kit. So, coming to this one, these are the components that has been used to build this trainer kit and the circuit. This is the mimic diagram given here on the circuit for the modulation and here this is the mimic diagram given on the circuit for the demodulation. So, you can see here there are different types of ICs, capacitors, voltage regulators are there and this two one, this two pin is used to connect the two trainer together. This is the main switch to turn off this trainer kit and this trainer kit that does not have any main power supply. To turn this on, we will just connect it like this. Turn the switch and you can see both the key is on. This is the user manual and patch cords. These all are included in this kit and to do the experiments and to see the waveforms, we will need a DSO. So, our first experiment is to study of tribit pair data coding technique of non return to 0 L data format. And this is the connection that we are going to build to perform this experiment. So, first connect as data to data input and connect S clock to here at clock port. Now, connect the output data here at data. And we will observe the various output waveforms uh, at with the help of a CRO. So, first we will check the wave input data of S clock that is here. Now, we will check data for this i clock, then q and then c. Now, we will check the data here at i bit, you can see. We will check the data here at IB. Then Q bit. And then C bit. Our next experiment is to study of QAM modulation. So, this is the circuit connection that we are going to build for this experiment. So, first connect this two kit like this. Now, connect S clock. First, we will build the connection of modulation to again, then we will go to the demodulation. So, first connect S clock to clock input. Now, S data here at input. Now, output 
port here are data port connect i bit here at c input 1 connect q bit at c input 2 connect c bit at c input 3 now connect input 1 to sign 1 input 2 to sign 2 and input 3 to sign 3 and input 4 to sign 4. Now from this mod output, the modulator output will connect this input portion of the demodulation kit. Now here connect I B to I bit input like this. Now Q bit to Q bit input. and C B to C B input. Now we will see the waveforms at different test points. So, turn on the key, give this ground correction. First, we will observe the wave, um, waveform at S data, that is this one. Here, and you can see this is the waveform. Now, we will see the waveform at I bit here. This is the waveform for qubit. This is for C bit. You can see. You can also check the sign waveform if you want this is sign 1 this is sign 2 sign 1 this is sign 2 this is sign 3 Now, this is the modulator output waveform here. Our next experiment is study of differential encoding of di bit pair data. So, this is the circuit diagram sorry connection that we are going to build. So, first connect S clock to clock. Now, connect S data to input, connect output, here are data, 
connect I bit and differential encoder 1 and connect Q B to differential encoder to input data. Now, we will observe the waveforms on oscilloscope. oscilloscope. So, first we will see the output and non return to 0 L data. This is the waveform. Now we will see I bit and three bit coder. Q bit and three bit coder. Now, we will see the differentially encoded I bit at out at output of differential encoder 1 here. You can see this is. Now, similarly we will see the differentially encoded Q bit at out of differential encoder 2 here this is here. So, this is the output waveform. Our next experiment is differential quadrature amplitude modulation technique or DQAM modulation technique. So, for this we are going to build this connection to perform this experiment. So, first connect first we will do this modulation part then we will go to demodulation part. So, first connect S clock here at clock connect S data here at input, connect output at data, connect I bit here at the differential encoder input part, connect Q bit at the differential encoder input part for this differential encoder the second one. Connect the output to here in C input 1 and connect this output of encoder 2 at C input 2 and connect C bit to C input 3. Now, connect the modulation output here to the input at the demodulation in the demodulation kit. Now, we will do the demodulation part. So, first connect I bit at here input this input differential encoder decoder 1 for demodulation kit. and output here at q bit input. Now, again connect the input 
of the second differential decoder sorry this is not this is not encoder this is decoder. So, connect the second differential decoder input to q bit sorry to c bit here. and connect the output at C bit input. Sorry here. Now connect this I clock this part sorry this is C bit C bit and this is C bit input connect this C bit to C bit input. square error 1 This is the demodulation output. Observe the output waveform as square root 1. Like this as square root 2. PLN f by 4 you can see this is f by 4 